This town is called Saint Gregory. This is the Fleur d'Alice. This is this hell of a town. So guys, I, I know the of you were asking for this. You know, who is this uh, Saint Gregory, you know? Here it is, guys. This dude here. A reptilian, for sure. He um, He's in love with number three. He, when they take pictures of him, they, he always shows this three. Maybe it's the the same three of the Fleur de Lis, of the Triangle, you know, of uh, Isis, Horus, and Seth, you know, all these three numbers, uh, they, they love this number three, this dummies, this monster is still here. You just need a branch like this, you know, that can feed the fire for, for very long. This thing is amazing. Um, I just left them, uh, that uh, town, you know, and I'm in the wilderness now, kind of. And I, I just wanted to say um, a few words about the army, the army of morons, guys. The army of morons, which are, fortunately, old people, guys. They, um, uh, if we can uh, uh, see all kinds of, you know, sheeple, they are at the high of the pyramid of the dumbest of them all, you know. Unfortunately, you know, I would like, you know, to respect them and, and whatnot, but uh, unfortunately these morons are the most dangerous people right now. So in that town, guys, uh, I was trying to buy some tomatoes in a, in a shop, and this dummy came, this old fart, you know, came near to me and told me, you are too close. You, you, uh, so I, I was like uh, one centimeter over the, the entrance. One centimeter, guys. He told me, you are not wearing the mask. Stay outside. This dummy. I was already outside. No? I was not inside. No? And so this dummy, after asking them, I realized these dummies actually think that uh, uh, they have to wear the mask even when they are not in a closed space, you know. And they are convinced about that, you know. And these people are dangerous, guys, because, uh, you know, these people had no purpose, old people, guys, especially in this system. Uh, here in Italy, for example, they, they kind of had, had uh, some kind of... Uh, a purpose because they uh, they would brag about you know fighting the war in the second world war you know and bragging about it even though they fought you know a war you know they were the cause of all that mayhem you know by killing other sheep that they tell you to kill you know you are causing just like uh, the dumbest today that are just doing their jobs you know are, are causing this hell right now they caused hell and they are proud guys because the system now gives them a purpose Dummy, go see, uh, respect the rules, and now you can say again that you are you are saving lives. Dummy. So these are these people, guys. It's uh, I mean, not that young people are brighter, you know. They also wear the mask and everything, but at least they are pissed, you know. Uh, they still think that this is just temporary, you know. But, but anyway, but uh, but these old people, guys, they are like this. Finally, I have a purpose. You, wear the mask. Where are you going? Da, da. These dummies, guys. And they knew in television, they knew that they had uh, this reliable, dumb, dumb, dumb sheeple that could, you know, made the rest. Because they have the numbers, guys. These old people, especially here in Italy, guys. That's why they choose Italy, guys. They know that Italy is full of old people, guys. They knew these dummies would just love, love to do this. You know, they just have to wear a mask, you know, and they can say again that they are saving lives and be heroes again. These dummies, guys. <sighs> it's just crazy. This tree um, was uh, almost broken. I just removed it completely. And the uh, ants are freaking out.
they cannot find the path anymore. So there are a few here left, and the other one are here, I cannot find. There was this interruption now, so they are totally trying to reconnect now. Everything. You know, I tried to take this tree because it looked like old tree, you know. I didn't break it, it was already like this, of course. And I, I thought I could take it to put it there in the shade there. But apparently... Woohoo! Nice find! <laughs> is good news guys uh, they say here in Italy they will continue the soccer championship whatever and uh, they will test and, um, and vaccinate all the, sh the players the billionaires that the sheep will see in television I was thinking that um, that the people that work in uh, hospitals and these other VIPs you know needed to keep the sheep dumb and to kill the sheep they will get another kind of vaccine guys in my opinion since they will be the first to get it they are forcing you know those that work in hospitals or with the police you know that they should have first the shot because they are constantly with the with the sheep around so this BS you know so, in my opinion, they want to show to the sheep, look, dumb sheep, nothing happened. They got the shot first, nothing happened to them. Come here, dumb sheep, it's your turn now. So guys, sometime, you know, um, when I am approaching a city, a town, you know, small town, and I see a fountain and, my, and I am, you know, in a remote area like this, I do something like this. <laughs> like I wash myself because, uh, you know, the, the sweat is really bad. And it hurts really. So, now, now there's a car coming, you know. And so, maybe I will, uh, I will look like a dick, you know. <laughs> I was scared this guy, you know. So, um, I had a soap here, and uh, and I'm not where I put it. Where? Here's here's a soap somewhere, you know. I don't know. Here it is. <laughs> so I'm I'm very. Uh, I I don't know if I I I wash my shirt here or, or not. If I wash it, I I would have. To take this thing wet with me and I don't know where I will end up so it's better to, to keep it unclean you know because you never know even though it's uh, it's so wet that it's like you know it's full of sweat so it's the same whatever the case so you know today started everything started clear then the sky just just uh, this soft, you know, clouds, you know, as we know, you know. So, um, today I really did just a few kilometers and um, this, this bag, guys, is very, very heavy. Very, very heavy. And um, there, there is that tarp, you know, tarp, you know, that kind of uh, plastic thing that you can cover yourself you know four by four but that thing is very very heavy and also I have the this habit of uh, drinking only uh, uh, from a, uh, from bottle you know from glass because I don't like to put water in any other container plastic or whatever else and so it's very heavy so let's hope uh, this town looks very very small so it's, it's, uh, the guy, one guy told me that 
it's very hard to I will find a place here. But you know, this is the Shiva guys. They always tell, have sent me this, but you never know. Maybe this will be the first time I, I will sleep uh, outside. Who knows? Well, you know, the last time that I slept in a garage was uh, pretty rough. I, I didn't sleep at all. That was the roughest time uh, in the last uh, world that I did. But this time, <laughs> the, this town was uh, so small that the only thing I could get is this. Yes. I managed somehow to, to find a bed here in this place where they put me. Look at this. I don't know if you ask me what, what this is, I don't know. Man. This, this is just a garage, guys. Uh, the car enters here, of course. You know. and there's an old fridge there. There's a bathroom there. Scary stuff, bro. But it's all for free, you know. So for free, I get electricity where I can charge my phone, you know. Light, however I want, you know. There's water, there's a bathroom there. Not bad, you know. You know, I managed to find, you know, this place is like a double garage, you know. And they had lots of beds here. And I started to touch this one and are very, very, do not move almost at all, you know. But uh, this one that I found, you know, had those old school, you know, uh, tighter kind of uh, crossing, you know. So it's much, much softer. So, you know, I found also some... Uh, kind of things that they had there, tents and whatever. And now it's totally smooth and uh, I found also this uh, clean sheets there. And I wrap my tarp inside here so I can make the cushino, which I never find the, the name in English, cushino. You know what it is, where you put your hand. So, you know, not the, the best of, you know, here's my sticks, guys. And not the best of a place, you know. It's not, you know, but you know, my option were this. Ah, ah but, but I didn't tell you what this place is. Uh, who gave me this? So this were the the usual church guys. You can say whatever you want, man, but these people, you know, at least the people that work here for the church, they have to somehow, this old furniture, they stuff it here, you know. So they had lots of beds and uh, rooms upstairs, uh, upstairs, guys. But since they are freaked out by this uh, virus, you know, this virus, uh, they told me, you know, it's uh, this is all we can uh, give you. There's, we cannot uh, invite you in the rooms upstairs because the, there is a coronavirus, guys. But at least I, you know, I try to tell them, you know, it's all done. It's all BS, you know, slow, kind of, you know, but without going too deep, you know, without <laughs> starting to scream at them, you know, as I would do inside of me, you know. So, thankfully, I can check my pressure, air pressure, you know, stuff and, and whatnot here. So... Um, it's not bad, man. I, get, I have so radio here doesn't work. This thing I, I take this just for the phone, you know. It's an old school phone, you know, no radiation. I always keep it turned off, you know. But it's good because it has also a radio. That uh, you know, if if you are you know outside civilization, want to listen to what's happening out there, it's good to have a radio. And also, you know, all my before started this walk, you know, I took lots of mp3s so I can uh, listen here in my phone you know and uh, you know I just have to sleep here guys it's I know it's creepy and everything you know but it's all for free guys and, you know I had the option to to use and I and I guess I don't know maybe I have this BV guys BV it's like a, a tent which is really really small just for uh, one person but it's uh, not even one person. It's like standing one person. You have to stand. The, uh, so the tent is 
just enough for one person, just, you know, the, how do you say? Uh, you know, when you are zdrayat, how do you say? I, I can find one. Standing, you know, you can find the word. You know, when you are sleeping, you know, how, what is that position in English? Right now I can find it. So, that is the BV, but you know, I have to, uh, either to sleep, in, you know, in the, in the park here, right next to the mountain, you know, which is quite creepy, guys. If, if you know, if I have the option to, to stay here in civilization, you know, you know just uh, behind this door, there's the sheep, I can hear them talk, you know, it's, uh, you know, it gives you some, psychologically, it's less, uh, you feel less alone, man. I'm not an animal. Just by smiling and and uh, talking to people, you you can you know almost sleep like a human being. So that's it. This was day two, guys. I don't know how long this thing will last because it's um, I'm not here enough for for enjoying this. Uh, I'm also taking information about how much you know cost to live in these small towns, even though they will make it. It just uh, takes them um, an earthquake to to move people from the mountains, you know, the one left here in the mountains, which are all old people that live here with a pension because there's no way to live in these towns, guys. Uh, with, thanks to globalization, they have moved people, and people even if they want to sell their stuff that they are produced here, these small towns, they cannot sell it, as I've said many times. So that's it guys, this is day two, bye bye.